Yo, 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 what's good, fam? What's up, man? I'm already out. <laughs> hey, for like people that's watching this interview and they may not know who you are, who are you? I want to say I'm Grizzly from Fort Worth, the East Side, to be more specific, Stop Six. For sure, for sure. Now, with you being from the East Side, Stop Six, how was it like for you growing up out there? I mean, I feel like I've seen everything everybody else seen, but you know, my mama was like real heavy in my life because my dad passed when I was like seven. So, like, and I got three sisters. So she was kind of heavy on me to just always push me towards the right path. Like, she wasn't one, one of them type of parents who whooped their child a lot. Like, I got whooping for sure, but like, she she uh, lectured me for two hours. Like, so you learned a lot from yeah, her. For like, she sure, no cap. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay, okay. Now, what you growing up with, like, three sisters? Were they, like, younger sisters, older sisters, or what? I got two younger sisters and one older sister. Did you ever have to, like, whoop anybody's ass for them talking to your sisters uh, crazy, anything like my that? My sister's actually introverts. Like, my little sister, she was homeschooled. I almost had to whoop a nigga ass over my, the one that's 21, not the 19. The baby one was homeschooled down there. And then my, my big sister went to a white school because we got different mothers. But, yeah, the one that's 21, she was in a band. So yeah, some bad niggas had me fucked Damn, up. Bro, what the <laughs> Not fuck? even no regular like some bad nigga like nigga, you got me fucked. You play bad, bro. Watch out, bro. <laughs> I think you play bad. That's it, bro. Nah, they was chill. They ain't like the other girls. Like they real. Like my big sister graduated. My uh, one that's twenty one. She in school. My little sister in esthetician school. So they chill. For sure, for sure. Now like with Fort Worth being infamous for like crime, yeah. drugs, gang stuff like that. How did you? You know what I'm saying? Managed to make it through high school without being involved with all the craziness. Like my that. dad actually got shot, type shit. So Damn. like that's how he passed. So like, really, that kind of stuck on me real heavy. No cap. Like, so like, I mean, it was influences. You know, I got a lot of close friends who I grew up in who kind of led that way, and I still fuck with them to this day. But I mean, shit, I just I, nobody tried to. When niggas tried to convince me, you know, I just was like, nah, bro, I'm chilling, bro. So nothing too serious. Nah, that's real, bro. That's real. Now, you know what I'm saying? I, I know you I know you play basketball. I seen you at the gyms. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You put in a lot of work. I really do it. <laughs> nah, for sure. I, I can vouch for that. For you sure. know what I'm saying? How would you say basketball helps you, you know what I'm saying, stay out the that's way a good and get question. through? Okay. I, I, I was at the MLK and Stop 6 every day hooping. Hey, you can go up there and ask about Grizzly and Angle, Grant, you know. I was really up there every day walking to go yeah. hoop. Outside, inside, we just hooping like me and my partners. That's what we did hoop. So that whole like it helped me that way. And then like, I mean, I could say the coaches like just yeah. like basketball. Yeah. Like you know, my I had a, my freshman year, my coach coach. He a real nigga. Not too many niggas is real niggas. He's a real nigga. Like that nigga talk to us like no cap. Like hey man, y'all niggas out here tripping, bro. Like it's, it's more to life, nigga. And he the type of nigga. He got bitches. He drove. He drove a challenger again. All you know, <laughs> believe the nigga name out when I put this out because I ain't gonna put yeah. all the rough business out. But yeah, no cap. Oh. For sure, for sure. Shout out, shout out to the coach. Yeah, shout out to my coach. Uh, I try to explain to people that you know what I'm saying when you play sports in high school and you take it serious that. You kind of get discipline from that, you know what I'm saying? So, and it teaches you. What? Because I was thrown in high school, no cap, like with the discipline type shit. But right. like, yeah, no cap, it gets you. You know, you, can't, you said you was thrown in high school, you had to face any like challenges, like with trouble and shit like that going on? Nah, nah, I was just like, I had anger issues a little bit. Like, I get mad at shit. But like, I was a good good child, you know, good kid, baby, age, you know, play basketball. For sure. Got sure. bitches. That's real, Pretty bro. simple. Now, uh, you had a popular rapper from Stop Six, your side. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Trying to find J Dub. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was unfortunately shot and killed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you found when you heard about that or found that out, how did you feel? I mean it's fucked up, bro, because he was young first off. You know, nigga ain't niggas definitely need to go see the world type shit. So he ain't even get to see the world yet. So I mean it's just fucked up, you know. I ain't personally know, bro. You know, I knew a couple people who know him, but like I didn't know him. So, you know, I don't wish death on nobody, so, you know, it's fucked up. Right, for sure. Crazy to see, like, the city just going really at each other like that, and niggas can still continue in, like, a beef after a dead man, you know, a man is gone. So, like, really crazy type shit, but I mean, yeah. Now, what you looking at this, you know what I'm saying, like you just said, you've seen the different sides. And in some cases, the east side has different sides now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what advice would you have for the guys that's beefing in the neighborhood? Uh, it's more to the world right now. That's it. For sure. You can go to Cali, you can go travel out the country, there's bitches yeah. everywhere. <laughs> no, for sure. Yeah, that's like what you mean. Go for to sure. Cali, smoke your woods, you're gonna get higher. 
<laughs> no, I feel that, bro. Now, when I hear your music, you know what I'm saying? It's a smooth, it's it's different. You know what I'm saying? It don't sound like the typical Fort Worth sound. or I'm different. Yeah, it ain't really just no shoot 'em up bang bang type drill type shit. You feel me? What influences you to make music like that? Uh, My mom. Because I was never that type of nigga. So first, niggas, I feel like niggas know me. So I feel like if you care about what you do and niggas know you, like, you look stupid. That's how I be feeling, like you look. So like, if I talked about that, and niggas who know me, who, what the, the fuck, nigga, like, so I talk about what I went through, what I go through, you know, I feel like I seen that shit, you know, it could be smooth, you know, I'm a smooth nigga, I, I, like females, you know, and I understand girls are the biggest consumers as well, so like, it's real, it's real. A nigga can say he don't like my music, but like I said, a bitch or never, girl, a woman ain't never said that, you know, for sure. not a bitch. <laughs> a woman, for sure, but, you know what I'm saying, I do want to say this. Like artists and rappers, it is still at the end of the day entertainment. And I understand that too. It's a business. Yeah, it's a business. Now, if somebody can put some words together yeah. and it might sound real, but you might yeah. went to high school and you was like, he was nothing like that. What's up? Nah, I didn't know anything like that. How you, you feel, feel about it? I'm cool with it. Okay. Because it is entertainment. Like, right. I don't think every rapper who is famous now done did what they did. So, I mean, but if you, like, niggas put shit together <laughs> and it suck. Like, at least make it be good, you know? Right. Type shit. And if it's good, then goddamn it's good. Okay, okay, I, I see. I, I see. believe 20% of the rap industry really did what they did. Really like 10. 10, damn. So you think 90% of the rap game is kept? Yeah, definitely. For the self, niggas is crazy if they think it's real. Damn. <laughs> okay, okay. For sure. Now, you dropped a single, Dear Rickenbacker. Yeah. You took it off. I did. What happened with that? Uh, one enough anticipation how I wanted it. I, I, I put a lot of hard work into my music. I put hours into the studio. You know, me and my cameraman put a lot of time into our video. Shout out Troy. So like, I want the anticipation to be there for me. And if it's not there for me, then shit. We we'll have to wait some more. Keep putting out music, keep keep grinding. So shit, when it's there, I'll drop it, but it's coming. For sure. Damn, okay, now, is there, like, so I, I know you said you're gonna wait, you're gonna yeah. push it back. Yeah. How do you come up with your dates on when you're going to drop music? Or is it just like you might wake up one day, so I'm going to just drop this today? So, at first, it was supposed to, my birthday was May 13th. It was supposed to drop on my birthday. Yeah, I belated. Appreciate it. I just turned 23 Jordan year. Just the year. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. But, like, I mean, it, enough shit wasn't ready yet. Like, I don't feel like I had enough promotion, enough videos already locked and loaded. Like, so shit, I, I pushed it back. You okay. know? I had another date. But then, you know, real life happens sometimes, so she pushed it back again. So now, I just came to the conclusion, it's going to come when it comes, goddamn me, and y'all going to get it, y'all yeah, get it. Nah, that's real, shit, that's real. But you you went to uh, college at TSU. Yes, you know, okay. sir. Was you rapping before you went to college, or like, how was that work? I was bullshitting with it, but not rapping. I, I, I was just, my partner, Darrington, shit, he damn near stayed with me kind of that summer after we graduated in 2016. And then they were like, bro, you didn't like you didn't been through some shit, bro. Like, I feel like you got something to rap about, type shit. So I was like, alright, man, let me that shit clearly sucked though. <laughs> but I can say you a real nigga, no cap. Like I got some real niggas rapping. He was like, bro, that shit hard. Like, fuck <laughs> Wait, so you saying listening to it now it, it sucks or back then yeah. you knew it sucked? Both. <laughs> <laughs> Both, right, no cap. Right, sure. But I continued it because, like I said, he he been rapping since fresh uh, since uh, y'all yeah, freshman year in high school. So like he been coming up to us. Hey, bro, listen to this. Going crazy, no cap. Going crazy. So like, yeah, he convinced me. Went to college. I continued it, you know, writing still. Tried out for the Texas Southern basketball team. Fuck y'all. Not even first. <laughs> I fuck with TSU though, but. uh sure. Yeah, I ain't make it. So like, I like yeah, I'm done putting my energy to basketball. Cause I'm not going to the NBA. I am five eight. Right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I well, let me stop you there, bro. I tell cause I play basketball too, bro. I yeah. tell people that story. They're like, damn, bro, why you quit? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, this niggas at six five, six six playing <laughs> oh, position. You know oh, what I'm saying? God, nigga, I, what nigga? The shortest nigga in the NBA is like six one. Facts. Goddamn me. And regardless, if it was niggas like Isaiah Thomas, crazy. On my mama, he probably the closest nigga to my height. Yeah. And that nigga finishing up with some trees. With 38 years, I'm saying? 38 years vertical. I sure. can't do that shit. Nah, that's real. But that's I so give a rap nigga buckets, though. <laughs> okay. Quavo. I, a local or, you know, anybody. Because Quavo didn't really suck. Niggas be boosting. We're going to set that up. We're going to set that yeah. up for sure. All right, so, like, you, you went to TSU. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You started taking the music scene. The music shit serious.